I didn't beat Andrew Huberman, but I also beat another professor. Like he's been doing it for 13 years, his field of study. And I beat him in a debate after learning biology for two months. It's, it's impressive, isn't it? I wanted to leave something of value here. So you leave this video with some motivation. If I did this, then you can do anything that you like. I'll tell you how to crush your competition like they're insects. Why would it be like you want to be great at piano in like a year, you be want to become a rapper, play basketball, get a $1 million contract, whatever you want. This principle applies to everything. Who am I and why you should listen to me? I haven't made millions yet. So the only thing you can do is relate actually to my story. Everything starts in February this year. I've always had an affinity towards chemistry, biology, but I never considered them seriously. I haven't gone to university. So what I've done is basically trying to become an entrepreneurship, doing marketing books, a millionaire fast lane, four hour work week, one million offers by Alex Komozi. I learned some stuff regards to health. It wasn't anything that serious. I was watching these influencers who are telling us how to take care of our health, sleep, diet. So I wanted to get even deeper, start learning chemistry from atoms and then going up learning biochemistry and then eventually biology and human anatomy. I've been spending three hours every single day learning about chemical reactions and getting eventually to cells. And I've been learning from various professors on the internet, free courses. As my learning progressed, I got to pharmaceuticals. I was always skeptical about it. How did we manage to survive? Our ancestors, they had a, basically the exact same DNA and they managed to survive until today. And now I need some pill to get rid of my fever. It just sounds off. And people will tell you that they used to live much shorter, but that's not true. If they managed to survive past, let's say 15, 20 years, they lived until 60 years old, basically, same as we do. I was listening to this pharmaceutical lesson from the professor I was learning basically everything from. I learned atoms from him, antidepressants. And I, I'm not so against them like these other male space influencers. I don't believe depression as a clinical disease is real now. But I never actually liked putting something that I deemed unnecessary into my body. There are so many side effects which I didn't want to play with. I think it's really arrogant from pharmacists to push pills onto us when they really don't understand that much about human body. And I'm not just saying this to be arrogant or boast. I felt gay. I felt that no, uh, that, like that. What I've learned mostly from learning about human body is that we don't know enough about human body. And you're playing with fire when you start putting strange stuff that impact how your body works. So you've heard about dopamine, right? It gives us motivation to do stuff. And in a depressed person, these levels are actually lower and lower levels circulating, you don't have motivation to do stuff. And the professor said that if you want to treat any disease, we need to look at the root, root cause, not the consequence, the cause. And okay, I agree with that, but there is not a one one single cause. There are multiple causes and their subsequent consequences. So according to the professor, fundamental cause of the problem is that not enough of a particular molecule is being transmitted. One solution to this problem is to use a reuptake inhibitor. This is a molecule that blocks the receptors that reabsorb some of the neurotransmitter molecules, which results in a greater concentration of neurotransmitters in the synaptic space. His way of treating it was blocking this proteins from catching dopamine. My bullshit alarm went off. It just doesn't seem like the main cause is because these proteins are taking too much dopamine. And we established we want to treat the main cause. But his main cause is basically the first consequence in my role. The main cause of depression is lower dopamine. Why is your body producing less dopamine? Why do you have less of it in between the synapses? Bad lifestyle, smoking, too much sugar, masturbating, all the things that give you a huge spike immediately. And his answer was lifestyle doesn't inherently determine the neurotransmitter balance. Boom, I won the debate. You are gonna tell me that you haven't tried dopamine detoxing, getting away from your phone, throwing it away, let's say doing cold showers, stop listening to music so excessively. And you're gonna tell me you didn't enjoy more fresh air, wind, those simple kinds of stuff. The sun, you know how well you felt after doing all of these things. And that's because your baseline level of dopamine was higher. You had more motivation. It wasn't your reuptake. It was low dopamine in the first place. Saying the reuptake is the problem is like saying, oh, I got fat. It isn't that I ate too much food. My absorption was too much. Let's block the absorption of nutrients and energy. You can see here how ridiculous this is. Let me tell you basically the two most important tips that if you follow, you will skyrocket your progress, your success, your knowledge, and you're gonna beat your competition easily because they're not doing this stuff. Choose one skill, one, only one, that you want to be the best at and pour your soul into it. Let's imagine I'm going against a biology student from a university. For me, every single day, three to four hours, only stuff that's important 
chemistry, biochemistry, biology. But if you go to university, you're probably gonna have like a math class. What do you need history for? I acquire books, online courses, some lectures on the internet. I won't be losing time on equations and I won't be going to parties all the time. I won't be having the general people around me who are gonna pull me away from it. Yes, I can do that on the side. If you pick the right thing, you wouldn't even want to take days off and you wouldn't want to prolong your education to four years. They did that so they can charge you. I've been learning this for four months. Look at how far I've come. Because so many people do it one way doesn't mean that you can't impact it in another way. Unless you somehow show me that I'm wrong about the antidepressant thing and that the professor was right. He's been doing this for 10, 13. So don't think you cannot become the best. You just need focus. You need something that really interests you and then put your soul into it on a daily basis. And be patient. Anything is gonna stop you, it's gonna be your own mind.